you for tuning up to another video of my uh, E46 M3 content here. Um, as you can see, I'm standing next to these two uh, wonderful box here, the BC Racing Coilover. Um, I have two of them. One of them is the Extreme Low and the other one is for the regular. So today I'm just going to unbox and uh, do a comparison between these two. Um, see what's the difference is and uh, how this uh, BC Racing coilover perform on the M3. So enough talk, let's open it up and find out what's the difference between these two. Thank you guys. Peace. Sticker. And here it is. This one is a custom build. You can see that. Again, another BC Racing Coilover sticker. Okay, guys, this side is the regular BIOS uh, series BC Racing Coilover for the regular. Okay, this side is for the extreme low coilover. Now you can see the linkage the same, the same hardware, and I mean the wrench. These two are the same, but look at the spring weight on this one is 62, 120.012. Okay. And I see it's this is 120, okay, which the regular is, go to the regular, say 140. The rest of the number is exactly the same. So that's only different is one, this one for the regular is 140. For those three, which the extreme low. The spring rate is 120.012. The rest of the number are exactly the same. Okay, 62.120.1.012. Now, here's a spring for the front. Now, if you look at the rating of the spring on the front here, for the extreme low, it says. Sixty two point one three five point zero zero eight on both of them. Okay, so now let's look at the regular. Let's go back to the regular. This is the regular on this side. Now the spring rate for the regular on the front is sixty two one sixty. 008 okay 
This is for the regular. They both uh, say the same thing. 62, 160, 008. All right. So the spring rate is completely different between the extreme low versus the regular. But for some reason, I noticed that um, the regular spring rate number doesn't have a dot on there in between. So I don't know if make any different. So what's the difference there? Uh, I don't understand it too. Or maybe they forgot about it or I don't know. So the reg this is the regular 62 160 008. 62 160 008. There's no dot in between 62 and 160 and 008 at all. Now the extreme low it does have the dot on there. So I'm not sure what that means. If I know, please comment below and let me know what's the difference between that. I don't know, maybe it doesn't make any difference or all or something like that, but that's the only thing I notice as well is the dot in there in between those number. So alright guys. Thanks for watching. Here is the unbox of the BC Racing Koi Over BR Series Extreme Low worth the regular BR Series. They both BR Okay here guys. Here's another uh, difference between the extreme low and the regular for the spring, for the rear spring. As you can see on the left side is the extreme low, the rear spring, and the right side is the regular uh, rear spring uh, for BC racing. So you can see that the height is completely different. Um, I would say probably like about an inch, an inch and a half, or maybe two inch uh, different. For the regular, it's a little taller, and the extreme low here is shorter, about an inch and a half or two inch. Then you see this uh, black uh, cover plastic here. On the regular, it come with it. You can see both of them. These are for the regulars rear spring, but for some reason, for the extreme low, does not have doesn't come with that black um, rubber. So I don't know what's the difference between that. What's the purpose of it? Um, for some reason, it, the extreme does not have that uh, rubber black cover. So, for both of them. And I believe the diameter is a little bit smaller too. Let me, uh, let me measure the diameter of this uh, spring too. Between the extreme and the uh, regular here. Diameter for the regular of the rear spring. It is 13.93 diameter. Now, let's go with the extreme low. It's smaller. Oh, there you go. So the extreme low diameter of the rear spring is 1355. Okay, so it's a little smaller diameter. So you can see for the extreme low, the diameter, the OG of the spring is smaller than the regular one so that's another difference between the extreme and the regular of the rear spring for BC racing all right let's uh, find okay now let me measure the diameter of the coil spring uh, for the front this one is for the regular one, you can see by the number is 62, 160, 
008. This is for the regular, not the extreme low. And let me measure the diameter of that. It's 1118 millimeter diameter, 11.18 millimeter diameter. This for the spring for the regular coil over. Now let's measure. This is for the extreme low uh, spring for the front coil over. Let's measure that right there. Okay, so you can see it's a little smaller. It's only 10.69 millimeter diameter. This is for the extreme coilover. Okay, guys, now you can see. And uh, if you put this up straight like this, okay, let me put both of them. You can see the height is also different as well. The one on the right is the regular, the one on the left is the extreme low. And you can see the spring length on that is also shorter as well because it's lower. That's why they say extreme low. All right, um, let's uh, find out the length. Just uh, be curious. Hang on, let me get my measurement tape. Okay, here is the total length for the regular. As you can see, it is about 18 inches total length for the regular front spring coil over. I mean, not just, yeah, it's not a spring, it's the it's a whole assembly coil over for the regular. It's 18 inches. Now, this is for the extreme low. The total length is about 17 and a half. Well, no, it's 17 and three quarter. Okay. So a little bit shorter. Now let's measure the spring. Okay guys, here, here is the total length spring for the regular. It is approximately six and three eighths of an inch total length right there. So total length for the regular coil or spring is six and three eighth of an inch. Six and three quarter of an inch, sorry. Now let's uh, do the, for the extreme low, oh, hang on. So for the extreme low, um, total length of the spring is five I think exactly five inches right exactly five inches total spring for the extreme low coil over there you go right so you can see 